So, as promised, some more about Junda and Ivaluk. Starting with where to stay, where to swim, where to eat, and for sure also nightlife. For the next day, we will have breakfast in Ivaluk and take a small walk, and afterwards take the boat to return to Junda, where we have some coffee at the Stone Cafe. So, let's start! Junda is a lovely typical Aegean village and a very common destination for local tourists. It was once a small gem only known for not many people, but nowadays it's quite famous and as a result also very crowded. So this means also that places to stay got expensive. The reason for this is that it is not allowed to build and if a building is restorated there are strict rules, therefore the prices are high. Well, these ones behind are ones of these old buildings. Uh, if you've got the money and the time for the restorations, <laughs> that would be great, I would say. But I don't have the money for us, so I'll keep staring. You can find flats to stay at which uh, I stayed together with a friend of mine. This was actually a nice renovated house with a nice kitchen and two bedrooms. And in addition, you also get a garden for your own. So that's the place that we're staying here. And nice, nice little hostel, not hostel, well, house actually, I must say. So it uh, has a nice place and a nice garden here. I'm sorry about my voice, just in the morning here. Uh, kitchen is okay, two bedrooms, uh, toilet, uh, and everything what you need for it. And a nice store decorated. So, try it out if you're here. But you can also stay in a boutique hotel, where I stayed with my wife. Luckily I had some miles to spend, as otherwise this could have been quite expensive. In return, you get a nice hotel with swimming pool with a Turkish egg and breakfast. Besides that, the hotel also offered free entrance to a private beach, for which you normally have to pay for. And this brings us to where you can swim in this region. On Junda, most beaches are private and you have to pay for a place. But if you find a place in between of these places, for example in the forest area or on the backside of the island, you can swim wherever you like. Actually, I don't really like the coast of this island for swimming and there are for sure better options in this region. The first option is Sarnusakla beach, which is outside of Junda in Iwalik. But this beach will be quite crowded, so I prefer to drive a bit outside of this place where you can find wonderful sand beaches to stay for the whole day. And the prices are actually half of what you pay at Junda, and even less if any. I'm coming home to you. As for dining, you have plenty of options on Junda. The typical Aegean fish restaurant has lots of starters uh, or even European restaurants where you can have some pizza, everything is available. Afterwards, having a beer with live music is really a must. In the morning you always start with a good breakfast. If the hotel doesn't offer the famous breakfast, on Junda you can have some toasts filled with cheese, sauces, tomatoes and much more, near the seaside. 
but I prefer a good breakfast and for that we need to go to Ivoric, the city near Jumba, which is basically only 15 minutes. Here you will get a great breakfast worthwhile your effort, which will give you the energy you will need to walk through the whole day to the streets of Ivaluk. Ivaluk has evolved in the last years and I would highly recommend to walk through the streets of Ivaluk and explore the shops cafes. By the way, don't you forget to buy some olives and olive oil, as this is really a very big olive oil region. After you have done enough exploring, you can take the boat back to Junda. This has been really fun as the view is great and breathing in the salty sea is really refreshing. Lastly, I stop at the Stone Cafe at Junda for a Turkish coffee. By the way, in the morning, the coffee is always hand grinded here, and you can visit and see how they do it. It's really fun. I recommend it really. And afterwards, you can have a freshly grinded coffee near the seaside for sure. Hope you liked this video. Uh, I didn't want to make it so long, uh, but remember that there's so much more to show of this region and this will be part of other videos. So see you in other videos, stay safe and healthy and take care.